Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Sumit from Backbench Code. So let's continue making this about page. In the last video, I have created this data, which is this data.ts. And here I have this services array. Oh, my VS code is damn slow. Okay, so I have this services array. Let me just expand this. Okay. So in this video, I just need to map over the services array and render this in a component. So let's see how can we do this. And by the way, guys, this is my final product and this is my ongoing project, which is this bye bye world. I just need to replace this bye bye world. So I have this description, which is something about me, which is the H6 tag or paragraph tag. And after that, I have this div, which wrap our service component. And then I just need to show service component. Fairly simple. Go to the code, go to this index.tsx. And by the way, guys, notice that I have commented out all these data fetching techniques. You can use this as a reference. Okay. I can't access these services from the props. Okay, cool. Remove this console log. Nice. Let's create the skeleton. Remove this bye bye world. Put an h5, which holds our about. Let's copy this about. I am currently parsing b tag degree, blah blah blah. Should I put my 75% attendance here? Okay. Put this h5. Nice. Save this. Cool. After this h5, let's put a div. And inside this div, I have a h6 which says what I offer or what are the skills I am good at. What I offer. Cool. After this h6, let's put another div which will wrap our components. Okay. Inside this div, let's grab this services array. This services array which is coming from this dot dot slash data. And just map over this dot map. Get every service as service. And create another component. Let's say service card. Service card. I need to create this component and I'll pass the service. Oops, ah, service as service, a full object. Okay, cool. Let's create the component. Go to this components folder, components, service card, the TSX, cool, RAFC, which will give me the boilerplate of a functional component. Nice. Here I need to get the services and let's use TypeScript. Why not? So I can define the type of the properties. So for that, I need to use the generic of the functional component. So this service card returns functional component. It should be imported from React. Function component. Yep. So inside this generic, I mean inside this angle bracket, define the props. So inside a curly brace, the props is services, not services, service. And it is the type of this iService interface. Remember this iService interface we have created in the last video. Inside this type.ts, I have this iService. I just need to import this iService. Let's see my auto import should do my job. iService, yep, bro. Cool. iService is imported. And now I can destructure this. So, first of all, control space. What are the properties are available? Service. And from service, again, destructure this. Again, inside this curly brace, space control and space. Look at the power of TypeScript. I have my icon, which I need about i also need that title i definitely need that okay so inside this div first show the icon and then again put another div inside the h4 i need to show the title so inside this curly brace title and why curly brace because i am executing javascript inside jsx and then a p which will show my about cool save this i think my skeleton is ready let's see uh -huh, look at 3000 refresh this hot loading is very slow oh service card is not defined i have not imported that go to index.tsx yep control and space my auto import should do my job yep bro imported cool let's make this side by side so that i can design go for the mobile screen cool my hot reloading finally did the job okay so i have my data and now let's put some sexy tailwind go to this parent div which is my index page Go to a parent div, add some padding, margin flex, whatever we can. Class name. First of all, make this flex. I want the direction column, so flex column. Padding horizontal 6 units, so PS6, not PS, PX6. And PT1, padding at top. And then go to this H5, add class name, add margin Y3, so margin at top 3 unit. Font medium. And I think this is all for this H5. Go to this div, add class name. Padding at all side 4 unit 
and by the way guys all the codes will be available in the description box so if anything goes wrong in your code especially in the tailwind css you can just check that out margin at top 5 unit i love tailwind by the way just add background color bg gray 400 cool save this go to the inner div add some class name class name and this div which is this inner div which contains all our services i'll make this a grid so for that use grid a class name grid and from the medium screen it will be two columns grid so medium or large make this large it will be better so lg colon grid columns two so one row will contain two service component and just add gap around six unit so gap between the elements nice add some gap in between the elements and now i wrap this service card with a div i know it does not make any sense but to apply framer motion animation on the service card you need to apply the framer motion properties on a html element so as i am going to animate this service card which is a react component i can't just use this framer motion animation on this service card i'll talk about this more in the framer motion part but for now just wrap this with a div div cool uh, my vs code my vs code is damn slow cool and now add some class name on, on this div class name okay so from the large screen it will take one column so column span one span one bg gray 200 border rounded so rounded lg or md whatever you prefer i'll go for lg save this nice and now look at this this right padding and the left padding it looks ugly so just remove this padding and to remove this padding we just need to use negative margin we have used this technique before so just go to this div which div this one this bg gray 400 add some inline style style to curly brace and margin left a negative 1.5 rem 1.5 rem copy this now let's apply this for the margin right margin right cool save this nice target this h6 what i offer add class name margin y 3 unit font bold bold is better increase the text size so text excel save this only thing i hate about this next js is this hot reloading time it takes around 10 or 15 seconds to reload the page okay so what i offer just use some letter spacing so for that i can use the class tracking tracking wide or wider go for wide cool so i guess i am done with this page and now let's go to this component which is the service card so control and click which is a nice trick to go to the service card component okay so service card i'm here so target this div the parent div add class name definitely i need to add some padding so p2 make this flex container so add flex item center of course and add space in between the elements so space x4 cool target this icon i just need to increase the size class name uh -huh, save this with around 12 height also 12 and just change the text color so text green text color means the icons color because this is after all the svg icon so text green my cute green nice save this and then go to this div i don't need to apply anything here go to this h4 and add class name bold font bold font bold save this nice and now notice that this about this about i need to show this as pure html because now this is showing this b tag which is which should be bold so for that i can use dangerously set inner html and this is an extra layer to save you from xss attack if you want to know more about xss attack i'll put a link in the description box so you can just check that out okay so to use that go to this p tag and you need to pass a property which is dangerously set inner html yep and here you need to pass an object so for that let's create a function which will return the object much cleaner code that will be so const name this create markup create markup there is a nice snippet for the arrow function i just need to use that look at this this is nine zero wow so just return an object with the key html and the value is about and this about is stored in my props so i can definitely use that and then use this create markup function inside this dangerously set in html call this remove this about and the p tag make this self-closing cool save this and here it is 
it's in bold cool go for the large screen it should show two service in a row yep we are almost done with the design the last thing i want is to give this div a flex grow property so that it grows to the full height and remove this white background because right now this is looking ugly so for that just go to index.tsx and target this div this bg gray 400 and add flex grow flex grow and also go to the parent div which is this the ultimate parent i should say also add flex grow save this nice and now to get this rounded border at the bottom just go to the app underscore app.tsx you need to use overflow hidden underscore app.tsx okay go to this div which wraps our component and just use overflow hidden let's see yep beautiful so that's it for this video if anything i need to refactor i'll do that in the last video of this series so yeah that's it in the next video we are going to design this resume page this resume page let it rebuild resume page okay so bye see you in the next video and wait 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 if you are enjoying this project please let me know that you are enjoying this project like give me some source of motivation okay see you in the next video bye